Right now I'm working on some really beautiful watercolour paper. And you can see that the colour starts to move really interestingly. And watercolours, I like using my watercolour not in a very traditional kind of moat way. I like to let the colours just all blend together. Let the colour just do its own thing. And with these Daniel Smith colours you get these beautiful granulations. I really like the way they're really working with one another. There's a bit more water I think with that. I've got some little bit of orange here to, to work with. Because somehow everything's better with a bit of orange. And the centres of these flowers are quite extraordinary in colour. I still want a bit of this gouache in there too. Because I love the colour of it. Beautiful thing. Mm, flowers are gradually starting to emerge. accidents happen along the way and we just have to let them happen. And I want some dark somewhere in here. Right. Maybe I could find some dark colours. So I'm just keeping on going with adding up my layers of paint. It takes quite a while. And you need quite a bit of paint. Don't be really mean with it. mixes beautifully on decent paper. Okay, 
okay, this is just a reminder that things can go terribly wrong and that I'd spent ages on this fantastic big piece of paper painting my lilies, but I really hated it when it was almost finished. It was just too boring and I felt I didn't have enough space or white area in it. So I got my gesso and a big brush and I painted a lot of what I'd done out and now I've got a background to work back into. So, you know, I wanted just to share that with you because sometimes people get angry with themselves, they feel they've failed, but treat every failure like it's learning, you're learning something new and it's going to take you on somewhere else. And I think this is going to be a great background to work into. So, you know, that's how things work out sometimes. So I've got my gessoed out painting and I've got some of my drawings that I made before. And I'm going to be using these rather than going back to the flowers as my inspiration for drawing back into this piece. It's quite useful sometimes just to get away from the original thing, gives you a bit more freedom. So I'm using some ink and a jam jar and I've got a more watered down ink here. I've got a bit of watercolour here that I might apply with a stick and a bit more here in this jar as well. So I like my stick to be nice and long, so I have a little bit less control. And let's just start away with drawing something. Sometimes you just got to destroy to get it back. I'm not really happy with this, so I'm just going to destroy it right through and um, see if I can resurrect it another way because it's just not going quite the way I want it to go. So this is good paper so I can just get rid of a whole load of stuff and maybe just go again in a minute. I think that's going to make me a lot happier because I don't really like the way it's looking now. So always good to just let things go. I'm loving this tool, it's from um, Catalyst, it's a blade that I can get rid of things, so yeah, all good. Just got to calm it all down and make it a little bit different.